Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yashallah. Call Haloyim Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Harakah Kodash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwap that's keeping the faith in the work. Shall keep at it. It's your brother Abai coming at you with more precepts. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33 and verse 7. It says, So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. All right, so today's epistle is a warning, right? A warning from Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai on things to look forward to, or, or things to look for, rather. And one of the main things that we are to look for is hate, right? Hate to be um, directed our way, not for us personally, but because of the doctrine Right, scripture says, matter of fact, let me go there right quick. Go to the book of Matthew, chapter 10, and uh, verse 22. It says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. So that hate. It won't come for us because of anything that that we are, but because of the doctrine that's inside of us, because of the name of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai, and the truth in that, right? In this world that operates off of lies, in this world that calls everything evil good and everything good evil, right? And let me go to the book of Galatians. Galatians chapter 4 and um, 4 and verse 16 it says am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth right so it's not like I said it's not because of us but it's because of the truth that's being spoken it's because of the spirit that's inside of us that watchman spirit inside of us that tells us to warn our people of evil and to guide our people to good in a world that says everything that is good is evil and everything that is evil is good. Right? Um, let me go to um, the book of Amos. Amos chapter 5 and uh, verse 14 says, Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so Yahweh, the power of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that Yahweh, power of hosts, will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Right, so one term that they like to place upon the people of the book that are waking up to the knowledge of self and professing who they are to the world is hate group. They love to put their stamp of a hate group on Hebrew Israelites. Uh, Y'all preach hate. Y'all preach hate. Well, actuality, yes, we do preach hate. But what hate are we preaching? A lot of people like to say, well, that's a racist group, right? Y'all speak a lot of racism. Well, actually, no, right? Because what they mean by racist is we speak against white people. But the truth of the matter is, if you listen to a Hebrew Israelite speak about white and black, you'll hear the phrase so-called Right, so called white, so called black, so called Negro, because those are made up words, made up terms 
right? You have some so-called white people that are actually so-called black people. You have some so-called black people that are actually so-called white people because it's all based off of who your father is, right? So the term hate group, okay, but what do we hate? All right? Amos 5.15, hate the evil. Right? Hebrew Israelites hate evil. That's the whole issue with this world. Job 9.24 says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? This earth is wicked. So if the people of this earth are following the, the rulers of this earth, and scriptures just said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That means that the people of the earth, majority wise, are wicked. And they don't know it because it's normality in this earth. All right? I hope I ain't losing you. All right? Hebrew Israelites are a hate group. You are absolutely correct. And the thing that we hate is evil. Right, it says, hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that Yahweh power of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Right? Um, but this world speaks opposite of that. Go to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20 says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That's this world that we living in. Right? So that's why when people say Hebrew Israelites are a hate group, they mind instantly go to negativity instead of righteousness. Because if you are a righteous individual, you are supposed to hate evil. Right? That's the whole purpose of the term righteous. All right? Um, let me see. So, us telling our people to hate evil and love good you can't just say that and not express what evil is and what good is. All right? So if you see your people that's operating in evil, Scripture tells us we are supposed to let them know you're operating in evilness. All right? Let's go to um, Isaiah 58. And um, verse 1 says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and shew my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Sin is evil, sin is wickedness. Transgression is evil, transgression is wickedness. So when you see a righteous man calling out wickedness on this earth, right? It's, it's, been seen, it's being seen as hate for the individual and it's not hate for the individual it's hate for the spirit in that individual the wickedness in that individual alright so yes, yes, yes a thousand percent Hebrew Israelites are a hate group but we hate evil. Alright? We don't necessarily hate people. And I say necessarily because when a person is acting evil, hey, we gotta hate what the most high hates. In that instance, yes, we do hate that person. Alright? But, you know, at the end of the day, all Israel will be saved. So we understand that one of these days, all of us going to be righteous. It's just that right now, we're not in that mindset, majority-wise. The majority of the Most High's people are wicked as hell. All right? But Scripture tells us we're supposed to hate what Yahweh hates. Let me go to um, 
Psalms 139. And um, let's see. Psalm 139 and verse. Uh, verse 19. It says, Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O power, depart from me, therefore ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Right? Meaning, they make the name of Yahweh by Shemi Shai meaningless. And the proof of that is, you can tell the Most High's people his name, and they don't care. They don't even take the time to find out or figure figure out, you know, the Hebrew of it or none of that. They just go, well, I call him God or I call him the universe or I call him whatever. His name, don't, it really don't matter. You are literally taking the Lord's name in vain when you do so, when you do that, when you have that mindset. Right? And the most I just called a person that thinks that way an enemy. Right? Verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Yahweh, that hate thee. And am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. So the enemies of the Lord are my enemies. Right? And really, they prove it by how they treat the most highest people. Right? Like I said, nine times out of ten, when the men of the Lord are on the highways and hedges, basically pleading with the most highest people to come back to righteousness, they don't care nothing about that. In fact, a lot of people become enraged at the word, right? And they strike out on the people that are bringing that word out. Not understanding, you're not striking out at the person that's bringing out the word. You're striking out on the, on the individual that put that word in that person. So, two scriptures. First, Proverbs. Proverbs chapter um, 29 and um, verse 10. It said, The bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. Right? Those individuals, the wicked on the, of this earth, including the most highest people, hate the individuals that are trying to operate in righteousness. You may hear some of them say, well, this nigga think he, think he this and think he that and who this nigga is to tell me anything about this and that and the third and man, you just like me, we come, uh, instead of listening to what's being said, instead of listening to what's being said, you too worried about who's saying it. But like I said, it's just a spiritual thing. The spirit inside of you is wicked, right? It wasn't, it wasn't, well, it was turned out, right, throughout the process of us being in our punishment. And really, it's always been that way, because if you read scriptures, it's always been a majority of the most highest people that were just wicked. Even though they came out of righteous loins, the spirit inside of them in the individuals was just wicked. You know what I'm saying? Niggas always been around. They ain't never had. They just didn't have a, the the phrase "nigga" on them. But that spirit of niggerdom has always been around, right? Now, as far as individuals thinking that it's you that they lashing out on, but it's not really you that they lashing out on. It's the individual that put that spirit inside of you, which is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, let me go to um, the book of Luke. Chapter 10 and uh, let's see. Luke 10, 16, it says, He that heareth you heareth me, and he that despiseth you despiseth me. And he that despiseth me despiseth him that sent me. 
right? Scripture says man's goings are of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? Right? Your thoughts come from your how. The words that you speak come from your how. Right? So when you hear a warning from a man of the Lord saying, Thus said Yahweh, repent or A B or or basically die. That's not from that man. That's Yahweh sending his spirit down into that person right when you walked in the way to tell you personally, hey, repent. Whenever you hear the word of the Most High, it's not that person that's bringing it out. It's the spirit of the Most High that's allowing you to hear this. Alright So of course We hate the individuals That tell you I'll pay that no mind Don't listen to that Right They off God love everybody God is all love Read John 3.16 For God so loved the world But they're not telling you To read Isaiah 45 <laughs> Where it tells you Israel is that world that God so loved. Right? They're not telling you to read Psalms chapter 5. Where it says the most high hates all workers of iniquity. They just saying John 3.16. God love everybody. They're not telling you to read Proverbs 8, 17. I love them that love me. Right? So, Hebrew Israelites are in the word and showing you what to hate. Because the Most High hates it. And we are supposed to hate what the Most High hates. It ain't us it ain't coming from us. It's coming from the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. John 6, 63. Let's go there right quick. John 6, 63 says, is it, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life. So the most highest people are telling you how to gain life by hating evil. But you have to know what evil is. It's a whole nation of people in the scriptures that's counted as the wicked. And the most high tells us hate wickedness. Let's go to Psalms 11 and 5. Psalms 11.5 Yahweh trieth the righteous but the wicked and him that loveth violence his soul hateth. The Most High hates the wicked. He hates wickedness. So of course Hebrew Israelites right the men of the Lord that are trying to operate in the spirit of truth spirit of holiness to the best of their ability of course they're going to tell you what the most high hate because they hate them too we hate them too because that's how we are supposed to be we're not gauging our hate based off of what this world loves you understand because this world loves wickedness we're telling you this hate based off of Thus says the Lord Who gave us the blueprint Of what to love And what to hate How to love How to hate Scripture tells us if at all possible Be at peace with all men That don't mean don't have hate in your heart Because Ecclesiastes Matter of fact Ecclesiastes 3 Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 8. If we're supposed to be all love, why script say this? A time to love 
and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. It's a time to hate and it's a time to love. It's a time for war and it's a time for peace. Yes, we are supposed to hate. It's cool. It's natural. We just read it. But the thing of it is, we're supposed to hate the evil. Love the good. All right? And like I said, we're living in a world that's opposite of that. This world hates the good and loves the evil. So when righteousness stands on righteousness and say, nah, that ain't how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to hate this instead of loving that. You're supposed to love this instead of hating that. The world then turns around and says, that's a hate group. We need to shun them. And we, need to, we need to shut them up. We got to stop them from talking because they are preaching hate. But I'm here to say, yes, of course we are. But the thing that we hate is wickedness and evil. And if that just so happened to be this world and the people involved in it, then so be it. Don't take it over with me, man. Take it over with the Lord. All right? So I'm going to end with this. This is the book of James. James chapter 4 and uh, verse 4. It says... Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of power. What does that mean? If you in this world and you're of this world, then the Most High hates you because you're an enemy of His. But if you in this world and not of this world, right? You got your righteous mind about yourself. You hating wickedness according to what scripture, what the word of the most high says to hate. And you loving what the most high says to love, how he says to love it. Then you're a friend of the most high, right? Love is keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. So, yes, we hate our people that operate in wickedness because they hate us. But that don't mean we're not going to be lawful to our people that hate us. We still going to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. I'm still not going to holler at your wife. I'm still not going to holler at your girl. I'm still not going to steal from you. I'm still going to tell you, hey, bro, honor the Sabbath. I'm still going to keep all these laws with you even though you hate me. That's the difference between you and I. All right? We love what Yahweh loves, and we hate what Yahweh hates. Yes, Hebrew Israelites are a hate group. All right? So with that, Yahweh Bashmi Al-Shai Ratazah, these precepts in this video were edifying. Call her lawyer, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Harakakudash, Shalom, Yashal.